Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to convert a raw console application into an ASP.NET Core web application. I use .NET new console to create the new application. Then I use VS Code to change it. First, we need to make some change on csproj file. I don't need the output type. Also, I want to use web part of the SDK. And I need to add a reference to ASP Core package. Before doing anything, I restore the package using .NET, restore command. Everything looks okay, so I can start coding. In program.cs file, I don't need the console right line, but I have to add a builder, var builder, and I make a new instance of the past builder. That's in another namespace, so I have to add it. First of all, I need Kestrel. Then I have to set my startup class using a use a startup. It can be any name, but as a convention, I use a startup. Then we should build the builder and run it. But first, I have to add this startup class. I go to find new startup.cs and I add a namespace and class. Any ASP Core web application needs at least one method called configure. So I add one public void configure and to run any middleware, I need I application builder. I add the namespace using control dot. Now I use add dot run method async context and I pass it to this menu method. Now I use context response write async hello from console. There's an await. And another namespace I have to add. Also a semicolon here. Now we are pretty much ready and we can run the application. In terminal window, I use .NET run to run the server. And as you can see, we have a working server on HTTP localhost 5000. And when you run this URL in your browser, you can see message from middleware and there you have your message from the middleware in your browser so at the end we could convert a raw console application into a working web application all done in asp.net core 2.1